Hello everyone and thanks for joining us here at Yachty today. We're very happy to be taking you over this Beneteau Oceanus 51.1 called La Seca. La Seca here was launched in November 2018 and she simply presents amazingly. She, she could be put back in a boat show on any given day. The nice thing about La Seca here is she, she not only presents well, she boasts a, a huge list of, of upgraded extras. So the, the Oceanus 51.1 was designed to be a smart, easy to use, comfortable and quick larger cruising yacht. So she's a current model Beneteau and with that comes generations of, of, of boat building history from, from what is the largest yacht production builder in the world. And we have here all, the, all that history and knowledge and, and, and style rolled into a, a current model larger larger yacht and available, available now with no build time, no wait time. Laseka lives, lives on Pitwater in Sydney's north and she's offered for sale by her, her original and only owners. They're a, a very experienced boating couple and they, they've, they've come out of both, both sailing yachts and powerboats. So they've had, they've had that, that knowledge of, of, of sailing yachts and what, makes, what, what they want in a sailing yacht but also the powerboat history and the comfort the comfort that, that comes with the powerboat. And in La Seca, in her upgrades, we see both of those qualities shining through. So she's fitted with, with, a, with a, a full nine KVA generator, full air conditioning system, 160 litre water maker, 160 litres per hour water maker. You see here on the transom, she was chosen with the, the upgraded dinghy pack. So, so really nice, sleek, easy to use, retractable davits. There's a 3.1 meter high field dinghy there, aluminium bottom, 20 horsepower Tohatsu. Inmast furling, as we just saw there, so very easy to pack away the sails. There's also a furling Eugenica or, or MPS cruising spinnaker. Here we see the electric, electrically operated boarding platform. And we jump on board in what is is really an amazing cockpit. So everything's laid out to be incredibly easy to use. Upgraded instruments, upgraded steering, black carbon Nordica steering wheels. So chart plotters at both helms, autopilot, all four winches are electric and lead right back there. All lines lead right back there to those, those winches, two speed electric winches. Full cockpit cushions, including under there, under the Dodger. There's lifeline opening gates, both port and starboard. There's a big sail locker here in the bow. And here's the upgraded bow sprit and, and a very significantly up upgraded ultra stainless steel anchor. Self-tacking head saw here. But La Seca was, was quite, quite smart in, 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 in upgrading the Genoa tracks. So it gives her quite a, quite a flexible sail, sail plan. Upgraded table there in the cockpit, so a lot of storage under there. There's actually option there to, to, to fit the life raft at the, at the rear end of that table. There's the stainless steel barbecue there on the, on the transom, and, and the locker there between the wheels is where the generator and essentially what is a utility room. So a lot of space, additional storage space down there with the generator and water maker. Down below, La Seca seriously impressed us the first time we stepped down below. Beautiful, but really functional. So large saloon table to starboard, that extends. And this very practical and usable U-shaped galley. So nice seagoing galley, not just an inline galley like some of the larger boats have. There's three refrigerators on board, plus a freezer. And there we saw the, the forward face, facing nav station or, or even office space with the additional lounge lounge area. The beautiful folding table, again, another significant up, upgrade. Into the owner's cabin forward, so beautiful cabin, hull windows, hull windows in each cabin, 
big overhead hatches in each cabin, fans in each cabin. But this island island berth is 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 quite, seriously quite impressive in the forward cabin. Very smart. So the head and shower have been separated up in the forward cabin, so completely separate spaces. Full stand-up shower, proper shower head. And walking back. So so a, a very large three cabin layout. That large uh, locker there to the starboard is where the where the washing machine is. So full domestic size washing machine. There's a dishwasher on board, coffee machine, microwave. Upgraded Yanmar diesel to the 110 horsepower. Into the third double cabin. So the, the, these aft double cabins are, are, are seriously quite big. And this essentially would be the VIP cabin because it's got that private access into the, into the second bathroom space. There's also a door that opens directly out to the saloon. So two heads on board, two toilets, both quiet flush toilets, both freshwater plumbed. So the list of upgrades is, is, is really quite too big to mention here. Laseca presents absolutely amazingly. She's available for inspection on pit water. So do get in touch with us here at Yachty. We'd love to discuss further and arrange a time to step on board. Thanks again.